OnePlus has decided to include Facebook apps and Facebook backed bloatware in Oxygen OS. What's up, peeps? Manchi here, back with another video. And in some recent news, OnePlus has decided that they are going to add bloatware to Oxygen OS. What is this bloatware we are talking about? We are talking about Facebook and its apps. So we're talking about the Facebook app itself, the Messenger app and the Instagram app. These are the user facing apps. These are the apps which you can go in and uninstall from your OnePlus device. But this is not where it ends. This is where it begins because they have also decided to include Facebook app installer, Facebook app manager, and Facebook services. These are system apps. These are the apps which you cannot install. So even if you are not using Facebook Messenger and Instagram, or you remove the Facebook app, the Messenger app, and the Instagram app, you cannot remove or uninstall the Facebook app installer, the Facebook app manager, and the Facebook services. These apps will still be there on your device. And this is where I think OnePlus is going downhill and losing it. Why? Well, let me explain. For starters, the reason OnePlus gives for these apps being there is that it is more user friendly for the battery to have these apps as system apps. Um, well, OnePlus, just for your information, you are number one on the website called do not kill my app.com. This is the website which tracks Android skins which are notorious for killing apps in the background and you my dear friends are on top of that list. So you talking about battery optimization by making apps as system apps is like it's a ridiculous excuse. Next up, it is pretty obvious that there will be some data which will be shared with Facebook otherwise there is no point in including Facebook apps on your devices and allegedly our common sense says that it's a partnership between OnePlus and Facebook. What does Facebook have to gain over here? Facebook gains over here your data, maybe users, which eventually leads to data. What does OnePlus gain over here? Don't tell me they don't gain anything. They're doing it for the user. I guess they get something from Facebook. It could either be monetary, it could either be some favors, it could be non monetary, who knows. But these apps being baked into Oxygen OS, starting with OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro, in fact, it is even present on OnePlus Nord. So, this is where I think OnePlus is going downhill and losing it. OnePlus, I think, is they're growing as a company, their devices keep on getting expensive and expensive. The reason why people like oxygen os is because it is simple it's not an obnoxious skin like some other skins out there it is pretty close to stock android with a few nifty features added to it and the most important thing was no bloatware and that is what oneplus is doing wrong over here they are adding bloatware i think with the success they are having they are getting greedy as well and this is where they're going to lose their core consumer base the people who are with oneplus right from the beginning for the very reason that oxygen os is supposed to be bloatware are not going to be happy with this and they are going to ditch oneplus in favor of the pixel devices because they have absolutely no bloatware in fact i am very surprised to see all the reviews of oneplus nord and most of the reviewers and big youtubers out there did not mention anything about this bloatware being added to oxygen os i am pretty sure that they have a soft spot for oxygen os and oneplus and now i know a lot of you will tell me that oh manji you can obviously root your device and remove these facebook app installer facebook app manager facebook services well of course you can do it but my question is how much of the user base does this? I am pretty sure like it is like 10% of the users who actually go ahead and root their devices and remove the bloatware. 
90% of users do not do it. And then there will be a bunch of you who will be asking me, but everybody has your data. Well, my question is, who do you trust with your data? Because once you go online, it is pretty obvious that Google has your data, Apple has your data, Facebook has your data, but it's a matter of trust. Who do you trust with your data? Do you trust Apple? Do you trust Google? Do you trust Facebook or do you trust OnePlus and Facebook with your data? Remember, OnePlus is the company which gets hacked twice a year and then comes out with statements like, oh, we're gonna fix it, we had a security breach, and then the same thing happens again. So they clearly don't seem to learn from their mistakes. And do I trust OnePlus with my data? Me personally? No, I don't. Rest, the decision is yours.